which is good. Um, there's this corner here. Unfold. Actually, we managed to finish this field up with um, a complete bale at the end of the last row. So, yeah, that's not a bad thing. As I said, the, the pickup on this isn't the greatest. However, We're doing okay with it. And I, we, we've got nowhere near a full bale on this path or on this field. that said we do have a fair amount that just didn't get picked up but still not going to be a full bail I don't I don't want to waste too much I mean what we've got here on the big swaths yeah we'll pick that but I don't want to be running around the field like a crazy fool just looking for bits here and bits there. We'll just do the big bits. And then oh, I see a whole lot of grass on the next field that needs to be collected, baled and wrapped and all fun and games. Alrighty. And somehow we got most of that. I don't. I think I did take the copy course. Yeah, so if we clear that, oh, um, I can paste the temporary. That looks good. And it needs to be set to first waypoint. And uh, really, off you go. is still weeding that's good it's going to take the weeder a while to finish um, actually did I turn you off oh, let's turn you off uh, the Aryan's actually on the headland however this needs to get going um, I can now clear the course on this one, we're done. You can clear the copy course. So the copy course is quite handy. You could do, um, oops, wrong button, that button there. Um, you could do something like mow a field and then set up a um, a tether with the same working width as the mowers and head to the field and then bring another tractor in copy the course to that and road wind row the field and then bring a fourth tractor in and copy the course again for the the baler as it is because we're making silage i just needed to mow which squashes the creates the wind rows and i just need the baler behind it Yeah, the, kid, the kids were all off at um, camp last week, so it was kind of tight this weekend. Um, I think they came home on the Sunday, because um, they're up at camp near where Grandma and Granddad live. So they could stop over with Grandma and Granddad, and then um, 
their mum could go and pick them up, bring them home, and she wanted a couple of days with them before they went off with us for, yeah, she's mum. Somebody's finished. Who finished? Why did you finish? Who's still going? Class Aryan's still going. Oh, the... Let's stop. Turn off the white stuff, please. Thank you. And that's finished. Nice. Oops. Start the engine. I pushed the wrong button. Okay, so there should be no weeds in this field. Do you know what I see? Weed. Let's see how this field looks. Um, looks like there's a strip of weeds around the edge. Uh, and a patch right in front of me, which obviously I am definitely going to take care of that. Um, the rest of it Nah, it's the edge of the field. There's no big deal. Meanwhile, let's uh, switch over to six and a half smooth edges or sharp edges. Two headlands. I probably only really need to do one, but we'll do that. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, field center. Longest edge. Much better. Okay. Um, and it has to happen right at the other side of the thing. First waypoint, go. Awesome. Turn the white stuff back on again and make sure it stays on and go. So yeah, we're now kind of down to the peaceful bit of the uh, the summer. Unfortunately, there there is a uh, vintage steam tractor show um, really really close to us. It's probably about twenty minutes drive, and it's always the last weekend in July. And I don't have a car, so for the third year in the row, I am not able to go to it. I can't remember what happened. Um, two years ago, it's probably my wife's illness, and sort of I need to go into hospital. So it's sort of, well, I'm not going this year, but I'll make a note of it so that I can go next year. And then last year, something else came up, so couldn't go. And then this year, I don't have a car, so can't go. And Mrs. Osa will be back tonight. I think she's aiming for about six, seven o'clock. Um, obviously, tractor shows finish by then, and also we have church tomorrow, and it's only a half day. Oh. So it's it's not the best day to go is either Friday or Saturday. I didn't have any vacation, so I couldn't go on the Friday. Um, I might look at that next year, depending on how everything gets organised. Um, and if I have a car, um, I may consider going on the Friday and seeing the show on the Friday, and then I can uh, stream on Saturday, and it's not a problem. Okay, we're coming up on real time, 11.51. I'm out of lime. Again, we can close down. Course play this tractor not needed and the the all the the stuff that we're now doing uh, all the weeding that is going to take quite a while I didn't want that one I did that one we only have 8,000 litres of lime of Maybe I need to get some more. Oh, I'm kind of... Oh no, I'm stuck in the silo. That 
that's a bit awkward. Let's pull forwards a little so I can actually get out of the tractor and not get into the silo. There we are. Okay, let's go 5,000 litres more. Oops, enter and fill. Okay. Yeah, I think I want close to a full tank here, but um, I may need more than that. So, I definitely didn't think 9,000 was going to cut it. Or cover it. Squeak. So next week's stream, I'm, I'm going to tentatively say that we're moving on to Glen Larbert. Um, it, the, the map is in test with Giants for an update. And it might be prudent to wait till that test is released. And of course, Giants are saying it's about eight days in testing, which I'm going to take as there's five days in a week. Um, so they might release it by Friday, or they might not. And if they don't release it by Friday, we will be back on Maypole just to uh, tidy up the last of the things. But um, there really isn't an awful lot left to do. It's, it's making cow food, and I kind of did want to end up at December. But what I could end up doing is um, real. I could, I could consider doing a midweek um, stream just to get it done. Um, and it would be just, hey, we're selling all the crops and we're making sure the cows are fed, and uh, we're going to see where we end up. Um, this is not going to be a farm transfer. We are starting brand new at um, Glenleafen. So it's, you know, whatever we have as starting money, whatever we have as starting, um, we won't have any starting equipment because I'm farm manager. So I pick the land, I pick the, um, the buildings, and we're gonna have to build the buildings this time, unlike last time. Uh, this map now doesn't come with buildings if you go farm manager or start from scratch. But uh, when we started on this farm, that wasn't a thing. So every farm has buildings in it, which does mean that every farm has all the husbandries and there's actually no room for more husbandries on this map. Um, I did notice Virtual Farmer was having trouble on court farms because he wanted to build a pasture with animals in it. And the map has the maximum of 10 already loaded and he doesn't own half of the farms. So he can't access those 10 yards to actually remove them. And on this map, neither can I. The only the only pasture or the only husbandries I can remove is the cow farm and the pig farm down at our original farm yard. But there's another ten husbandries on this map that we can't access. There might be more. I don't know. But obviously, there's an upper limit of ten base game you can get a mod which allows you to add 64 so that might be a thing but as I said going on to Glenleafen none of the yards are developed so there are no extra husbandries we can build what we want how we want um, I'm probably going to have cows and I'm probably not going to have a feeding robot because with Maze Plus it's it's too restrictive. Um, you know, you need whole crop silage, and production of whole crop silage is is limited to the fall. 
and if you don't make enough of it then your robot's kind of stuck for um, raw materials to make cow food with the hay's not a problem because you can make hay while the sun shines um, but um, and the same's true you know even the mix we're doing we're using um, maize silage and uh, grass silage we only have grass or we have as much grass silage as we can produce from all of our grass fields May silage not so much it's a one one time a year thing and if we don't make enough of it then we don't have enough food for the cows okay that is all the lime done actually that didn't take as much as I thought it might So that's a that's a success. The Harrion still baling. The Fent still killing weeds. So we can take this back to the yard and put it back in the shed. Um, yeah. This tractor's 275 horsepower. Even this tractor might be bigger than the biggest I'm planning for on the next farm, at least initially. Um, I do not know if I want to try the whole um, forage tractor thing again. I don't think I do. I think we figured out that's a pain in the butt. So this we're going to have to do like that. And should be able to, maybe, maybe not. us in that shed behind us. Come on, go, go, go. Nice. So, do I need to do anything else with the big blue tractor? That would be a no. So, I'm going to stick that in this shed here. Done. Okay, let us go. And he's still working. And as I said, this is going to take a month of Sundays. He's stuck. Well, what a surprise. You want me to move that for you? How's this work? Yeah, this is again, I stuck it headlands first and then middle for future reference we do grass middle first then headlands that way we're not blocking up the rows hey, you're still doing your thing you're done you're not done um the blue tractor got put away heavy haulage How did we do today? It is now midday, so I want to be thinking about food. Um, I'm probably going to be on here for quite a while supervising um, weeds destruction. So uh, I'll probably have something to eat and uh, do that. I do like a start from scratch situation. This farm was definitely start from scratch. And as such, we started off with the yard we started off with and two fields. And we, 
I did. Uh, I do have lease to own, and for the harvester, we just lease the harvester on the first year and the header, and just left it at that and let it go at the end of the year. It wasn't the harvester I wanted to end up with. It was the harvester that would do the job I needed to get done. Um, and we bought a used tractor. Um, initially, I started out with the Massey Six S which turned out to be a complete waste of time. It was the old 6S, which is now the 6670S or something, and has a maximum of 180 horsepower, and it couldn't haul the cart up the hill. So we got rid of that very quickly and got the, uh, oh, what was it? The Deutz Series 7 um, came up on store sale. And that's 247 horsepower. So we just got that one. Uh, put narrow tires on it, uh, front loader arms. And it was our general purpose tractor for the entire start of this farm. And it wasn't until we started making money that you know, we pulled everything out. And so we, we've got this far on start from scratch. Um, which is not... I don't think we've done badly. Um, you know, you look at we own that field and then all the fields inside this arc up to there except that one which we use for contracting and we also have that one so that's a good number of fields to uh, one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 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 13 14 15 16 17 18 and we own that plot of land and we own that yard on top of that one which we started with. So yeah, we own a lot of farms. Now you look at the map itself and uh, I don't think we even own 25% of the map. We would have to buy all the farms in this box here. All the fields in that box there. But you know, for the most part, we've done well. Um, our income is stupid money. I mean, we're up to 350,000. We're coming to the end of the series, so I'm not looking to buy more new equipment. But, you know, there is an argument to be made for getting rid of the John Deere and getting something else with similarly crazy levels of horsepower. Because the John Deere's running at 95 hours. I think the fence running at almost 70. Uh, the... New Holland is brand new. And I th the Aryan might be brand new as well. Um, we don't own this tank. And frankly, once we've got to the point where we've emptied the slurry at the uh, cow shed, I probably don't need this tank. But as we keep it, it's reducing in value, so the payoff for it is lower. Uh, we don't own the milk truck and I should probably think about buying that but yeah we've we've got all the money we need this farm is now successful I don't see any reason why it might not be and we did have a calamity with the cows at one point where I stupidly oh the bales are in the way um, <laughs> oh the bales are in the way yes indeed they are Um, yeah, where I sold all the milk producing cows and kept all the youngsters. And so we went for about four months, five months, with no milk being produced, which was a bit of an error on my part. But, yeah, we got over it. We got round to the point where, yeah, we've got everything we need. And, uh, yeah. I, don't, I didn't need the New Holland, but I figured, you know what, I, I could use another tractor that can run the heavy stuff. Um, I need, basically my, my um, assumption was that the New Holland was going to be okay uh, to run the mowers and the John Deere can run um, the big um, manure carts 
it could run the manure spreader if I wanted to spread manure on the fields, although we're kind of beyond that now. Uh, we are spreading digestate on everything to, in, to do a basic improvement of nitrogen. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a small manure tank that we generally use to spread the digestate. I could get a slightly bigger manure tank. That uh, shoot and shout and is, um, is a little bit on the small side. But that said, I can use the big tank to do a field replenishment. Um, and I can run that on both the Aryan and the the fend. Um, this, this tractor does have stupid horsepower but hauling 30,000 litres of manure and slurry around you kind of need that horsepower. But next farm I'm not looking at something quite this big. We're also not allowing ourselves to use um, lease to own or any leasing that's going to be a problem. Um, we're going to have to borrow the money and therefore we're going to have to have the income to service the loans that we uh, we take out. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Which is why I decided we're not going to do a start from scratch because the farm would be almost negligible and the equipment we would have would be almost negligible and quite frankly um, it would take us for me a concerning amount of time to actually build to a point where we have lots and lots of things to do right now we have lots and lots of things to do you know we, we're, we're mowing we're baling we're spraying we're delivering milk we're delivering manure we, you know we're trying to keep up with all the things but we don't have too many things in the way of, oh, I've got, you know, I don't have enough tractors. I have enough tractors. And I probably need to move that one too. You good? You stuck? You go home? Okay. Um, you went home. No, 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 no. No, you're not. Object is gone. Proceed. Are you really not? Oh, okay. Obviously, he was blocked by the um, the baler not being unwrapped, unfolded. Okay, definitely going to have to do the corners again. Again, I don't know if it's going to be really worth it, but uh, we have manure to haul, so let's get on with that for a bit. And of course, as soon as I've got the first load tipped, we can uh, turn on manure production, which is again going to make a lot more money. I think we had a hundred thousand litres, so there's probably maybe by now four trailers load loads of manure to ship up this hill. Struggle. Yeah, I, I kind of, yeah. For at this point, I want to I want a change of scenery. I don't want to do the totally cheaty thing where we just sell up everything on this farm, see how much money we have, transfer the money over, and then buy just everything on the next map. So this is sort of a compromise between I don't want to start from scratch while I do enjoy a start from scratch because there's a challenge involved. I do want to keep things interesting for you know streaming. So I I, I want to have sufficient stuff to be able to do different things and it's not just okay I'm gonna plow I'm gonna you know, harvest this field. Now I'm going to plough it. Now I'm going to replant it. Now we're going to sit around for 12 months. Now we're going to harvest the field. Oh, 